Thank you for joining me. This is The Point and I am Miriam Agutu. My guest today has been in an organization called Yes, Youth Can and also an organization that is dedicated in empowering uh, the young people of this country. And he has been also a young leader uh, at Langata CDF. He's been part of that uh, leadership over there that makes sure that the CDF is used well. And today he is vying for the member of County Assembly of South Sea. How are you? Fine, thank you so much. Just for tomorrow. Yes. Thank you for joining me on the show today. Thank you so much, Mira. I know I had to rush you to come over here. Of course, You're yes. busy campaigning. Very busy. Yeah. Very busy doing one to three and campaign as usual. How are the campaign? How are the campaigns so far? Uh, they're so tight, so tiresome. Mm -hmm. Moving around is not an easy thing. You're a young campaign. person. It cannot be that difficult, is it? Yeah, <laughs> but making <laughs> making almost ten rounds a day, mm -hmm. is, it is very tiresome. Uh, ten what? Rounds going up from and one down. estate to yes, to, yeah. move, meeting the youth, meeting the Boda Boda guys, mm -hmm. meeting the taxi people, mm -hmm. the Muslim community, mm -hmm. wherever. So many groups around. Okay. Yeah, sure. It's only the Muslim community you're meeting. You're not meeting Christians over there. Yeah, you know South Sea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, I'm joking. Sure, I sure. know what you. I know what you mean. So, um, what's ailing the current leadership? of this country as a young person from where you sit, what do you think is ailing the current leadership of this country? Do you know, uh, the, 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 the highest population of this country consists of the youths, as you all know. Me as a young person, I sometimes don't feel very much okay when we see so many youths around idle, without jobs, they becoming robbers around, doing some crooked things here around, so it doesn't talk about it. Okay. So what do you think is ailing the leader? Why is it that some of these things, um, we know the problems are there, yeah. but nobody is really trying to get a lasting solution, say to, when you talk about robbery, it comes from unemployment. I believe if they had something to do, then maybe they will not do that. Yeah. So why is it that it's so difficult to find lasting solutions to some of these problems? It is because the leadership, we have never had the best leadership ever. Mm -hmm. Those people who are who are there with the interests of the youths is what we are lacking most. Okay. Sure. So as a young person, you're a young person? Sure. Are you married? Do you have kids? No, I'm not married. Okay, so he's an eligible bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies out there. But uh, yes. as a young person, because I was just talking to another young person just a while ago, and he's also vying for a similar post, MCA, yeah. at a different ward, and he thinks that the reason why now, because I asked him, why is it that this time around there are many young people who are coming up and, and vying for these leadership positions? And he said, because uh, the, the youths have not been well represented. What is your opinion on yeah. that? Y yeah, you know, most of the times, we, we as youths, we have been sitting behind to be represented by others. But it's when we have realized that we should take our position in the community. So for us, our interest to be taken care of, we ourselves as youths, we must be inside. Okay. Yes, we must be in the system. Okay. So you're vying for the member of county assembly, and uh, long time ago they used to be called the the, the councillors. The councillors. Yes. And uh, people would argue that uh, then uh, they were not very educated. I don't know. It's a perception. Of course, they go to school, but it, it was a perception, yeah? yeah. Judging from the throwing of seats and whatever in, in, in City Hall and all mm -hmm. that. But now, after the new constitution, now is the members of the county assembly, and uh, they have more powers, and I think the position is a bit respected compared to when they were councillors. Do you think the members of the county assembly are yet to understand their mandate? You know, most, most of the members of county assembly when these people are being elected they really don't know why they're going to to the county assembly to represent they really don't know but uh, so I they, they don't know the, the job description yeah sometimes sometimes some of them know some of them don't know mm -hmm. yes okay so is, is that why it's very difficult to see progress especially in Nairobi county because mm. people have been arguing so much that nothing has been done but the past leadership of Nairobi County from the governor to Senate to a women representative to you know the whole leadership uh, nothing tangible has been done what's your position on that my position you, you know we being elected in various purposes me personally 
as a as a MC if, if I'll be elected, I'm there to pre represent my people. But there are those who are elected there for some reasons. Some go there to make themselves rich. Mm -hmm. Some go there to make some connections. But again, if you if you're there, rich, for rich the is not. I, I want to be rich, like really. Yeah. But you can't be rich on expense of people. But you have to be rich in a in a in a in a good way, yeah, not by stealing and way. corruption. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, so it's not bad to be rich. So I agree. I, I agree. Yeah. Sometimes most of the members of Count Assembly all over the country, in most of the countries, they don't know what they are doing there. So they don't understand their mandate. Most of them, I think, we should have a system whereby these guys should be educated. Mm -hmm. Civ yeah. civ civic education, maybe? Yeah. Civic or workshops education, that, that enlighten workshops, them? Yeah. wherever, here and the interac interactive sessions, mm -hmm. for them to understand their role. Most of them really don't know. Don't have that. Most of them are my friends. Okay. So I normally interact with them. I know them well. Mm -hmm. So I agree totally that these people... Sometimes they, they, they don't have a clear, a clear uh, yeah, understanding of what exactly. their mandate is. Yeah, as a member, uh, as a member of county assembly, your main role is uh, legislation. Mm -hmm. Legis legislation and the representation. Yeah. So some of them don't know. Don't you know, as an MCA, you don't have a kitty whereby you have like, like CDF, 20, uh, 50 million for you to do something. Three. But uh, you can just go to the county government and say, hey, my street lights are not working, my roads, my roads are bad, my people are not getting bursaries, such kind of things. Okay, is and advance the agenda of your people. Yes, representation. Okay. This is a point. I am Miriam Ogoto, and my guest today is Josfat Omoyo. Did I say your name right? Yes, Josfat Omo Omoyo. And he's vying for the member of County Assembly at South Sea Ward in Langata, at, Constituency. In Langata Constituency in Nairobi County. So, Josfat, who, who is Josfat and what is your gender? Josfat, Josfat Omoyo is a young youth with visions of this nation and of particularly South Sea Ward. Joseph Atumwe was born in 1992, April 25th, 1992, some 25 years back. Oh, you're 25? Yes, I just yeah. had another 25-year-old here, sure. vying for member of County Assembly, yeah. From where? Uh, Dendora. But uh, I thought I'm Ward the youngest. I thought I'm the youngest. It's okay, I'm still the oldest, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still old, so I t I'll take that. You're young, you're young. Thank you're you. Young. Thank I you. give you that. But I just had another one who was 25 years old and he's also buying. So it's interesting that many young people now are, are, are coming up and are buying for this position. And I love that. Mm -hmm. I love it. M most of the, uh, you, you know, I'm so much connected to these MCAs buying in Langata, and most of them are young people. Okay. Why should we take old people there? Okay. Old people there. <laughs> old people are wise. They say that. No. <laughs> All right. So you were vying as an independent candidate, or do you have a party? I have a party. Yeah. I'm in Democratic Congress Party. It is a it is an one year old party. Mm, to form one year. Yes. So that's when you started strategizing. Y yes, it is. A, the, the, my chairman is a, the chairman of the party is Honorable Tom Boya. Okay. Tom Boya Junior. You know the late Tom Boya. Of course. So the son is my party leader. Uh huh. We participated so much with friends and the community to make the party. He's a future party, he's a mm -hmm. youthful party. Okay. He's one of the best parties in the country. We really, my party mm -hmm. is an independent party. We're not supporting either Jubilee mm. or NASA. But uh, me as a person, I really know to support. Okay, okay. My side. All right. So what's the party's ideal? Do you guys have ideals? Because th this country is like some of these parties. We just follow because it's a person that we love, but really we don't care about the ideals they stand for. So what does your party stand for? Our party stands for national unity. It is a youthful party. It is all inclusive. We really, we don't have, there is no tribe whereby you, s you, you get a certain tribe, a certain party comes from a certain tribe. We, my party leader is Tom Boya. My secretary, the secretary of the wherever comes from somewhere in Rift Valley. So it is a well-balanced party. It is a well-balanced party. Exactly. Because you have someone from Rift Valley. From all over. Me, I'm a kissy. <laughs> I'm a kissy. I'm in the party. And I'm just, I'm just yes, playing. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but I understand what you're saying. So is that what makes it different from other parties? Because even other parties will argue the same. We are well represented in, in, you know, in the leadership of the parties. My what party. makes it different? What makes it distinct? 
my party entails so from say jubilee coalition or, or nasa yeah according to me it is a it is a national party it is not a tribalistic party mm -hmm. yes so that that makes it stand out yes it's not a tribal party mm -hmm. you know most of these parties are so tribal okay yes ours is not yours is not yes are you affiliated to any of the coalitions you said no i've said no mm -hmm. but uh um, me as a person mm -hmm. Me as a person, you I have know. your own choice for the yes, presidency. Yes, I have my own choice. But as a party for now, mm -hmm. we are so independent. Okay. Yes. So the first time you you shared uh, with your family that you wanted to vie for this position, uh, did they think you're crazy or Is what was their reaction? Most uh, at first, my mom was not of the idea. You know, they law like the politics. It's of a this dirty country. game as as it is perceived. Yeah, my mom was not of it. But when they saw it real in me, uh, they said, our son, we wish you the very best. My dad is the best supporter, despite being a government, mm -hmm. being a government uh, officer. Mm -hmm. He really supports me. He really goes down there to campaign for me, wherever calling me, where are you, how was the meeting, wherever, such kind of thing. Oh, your father? Yeah. That's really dad. nice. Yeah, my mm. mom is there praying for me each and every Saturday, mm -hmm. wherever, every night. Mm -hmm. My sister, I have one sister and three brothers, they're there for me. Okay. Whatever I need, mm -hmm. whatever I tell them, mm -hmm. they're there to support me. You know, when you have the support of the family, it's, it's very the important. Best thing, yeah, it's, the best it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's the basis. Yeah, sure. That's where you get your strength yeah, and your sure. inspiration. So, of course, uh, campaigning can be very expensive. Who's funding your campaigns? Very, very, very expensive indeed. Walking around, I have so many friends and the good, you know, when you have the goodwill of the people. I've been in the CDF there. I've been I've been helping some one inch to get some two three bursaries without looking for tribe, whether you my Kisi tribe, mm -hmm. whether you're from a certain tribe, mm -hmm. all of them. So they are there for me. Mm -hmm. They really don't ask me for any coin okay. wherever I go around. The goodwill of the youths have been, have been so many organizations for the youths. Mm -hmm. So I've been I've been coordinating the youths. Mm -hmm. So that's why most of the time you get um, they don't ask for money. Yeah, they don't ask so for money. So how do you campaign? You don't you need posters, you need what? How, what it is your campaign strategy? Yeah, I... Do you just walk door by door? By door? I go door to door. Mm -hmm. oh, I door go to door, sorry. To churches. Mm -hmm. I go to the mosque. I meet border, border guys around, the taxi people. I Again, I have posters. I posters. I have some friends who have given me some vehicles, branded vehicles who which facilitates my movement, so I thank God for everything. Okay. Yeah, I have so good friends around. Okay, yes. so it's important to have good friends. Yes, yes, They help yes. you, they come in yeah, handy. Yeah, being <laughs> good friends, they're there for you. Okay, yes. so you were part of the Yes Youth Can. Yes, yes. 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 Youth Can. Yes, what youth is can. that about? It is a, it is a youth organization mm -hmm. which, is being, uh, which is being sponsored by USAID. It has, um, it, uh, it has been empowering the youths uh, through trainings, business trainings, some phone businesses and whatever. And also in some, we've, we've given so many thanks to the youths around Nairobi for their small, small projects yeah. and farming again mm -hmm. and so many things. Okay. Yes. So you basically you're empowering the youths. Yes, empowering the youths. That's okay. the agenda. And again, uh, it came through during 2007, whereby most of the youth, you know, were being used for violence. Mm -hmm. Is when the USA decided, hey, how can we empower the Kenyan youth for them not to be idle, thinking of violence each and every day. So it's when we come up with that such kind of organi an organization which is there for the youth to keep them busy again from the dirty politics of the day. Okay, so sure. they're, not, they're not used by the politicians. Yeah, sure. So when you see these politicians uh, using these youths who, you know, they have nothing else to do, so maybe they see it as an opportunity, and these people take advantage of them and exploit that. As a young person from where you sit, uh, what comes to your mind? I really feel bad. You know, I've been a youth leader in the constituency, Langata constituency, in terms, of, in terms of administration, I've been the youth leader. Again, I really hate when the politicians or other guys misuse the youth. You don't take advantage of the youth because they don't have jobs, because they have not gone to school, because they lack opportunities. It is very bad. It is impunity of the disorder. 
And again, our youths are there. When our youths are idle, they're there for hire. Today, NASA comes, all of them are there. Tomorrow, Jubilee comes, all of them are there. They are there, to, they are there for hire because they have nothing to do, okay. which is very bad. I normally tell my youths, please, even if you lack, don't go for violence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. So, <coughs> fast forward, August 9th, and you were not elected as the member of County Assembly for South Sea. Do you have a plan B? I'll continue serving the youths, the community, in the other capacity. You know, we can't... So it, it will not be the end of the road? It won't be so the end. So it's not end. a do or die? It won't be. In, I'm a leader. Okay. I'll serve in any capacity. Okay. Yes, I'm, I'm a leader. Mm -hmm. I've been always be a leader from before. Mm -hmm. I'll do whatever possible, yeah. whatever is there for the community, okay. for the youth, I'll be there to do it. All right. Sure. Uh, you've been traversing uh, the world of South Sea. What have you found out to be their most urgent needs that requires the urgent uh, action? You know, Should most, you be elected? Most of the people of South Sea, they have a problem with water. Water has been uh, an issue. We have so many cartels around. Yeah, and, and I think water is an issue in the larger Nairobi too. But, but South Sea is more worse. Okay. I don't know why. Yeah, the issue of water, the issue of sewerage, the, it is pathetic. So what's, what's wrong with the sewer? The sewer keeps mm. on spoiling each and Blocking. every day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, each and every day. We wonder. These guys come, they rectify, mm -hmm. after two days, it is up. the same problem. It is there. And so when it rains a little and it, it floods. Sure. Mm -hmm. We really need to get a lasting solution for this. Especially the drainage yeah, system. Yeah, the drainage system should be, mm -hmm. should be well managed. So what, what will be your solution for the water shortage that you mentioned? I think first I, I will have to deal with the cartels around. When you say cartels, what exactly do you mean? What do these cartels do that make the residents of South Sea not receive water as they should be? There are those cartels who, they, there are, those cartels who are around there to make sure that we don't have they block the main pipes. What yes, happens? Yes, yes, that kind of thing. Because I don't understand how you go to an you estate. You get to other, other, other homes don't have yeah, water, but like there's a particular you get place like you can in go a, buy in, water. In an area like but in the a, same place. And in, uh, in an area like Akila doesn't have water, mm -hmm. and Mugoya has water. What do you think? When you call the guys, they tell you, wait three minutes. Three minutes, we are open for the water. What is it? Ah, so it's normally closed and open. Mm, closed and open. So wha what, what do you know, they stand to gain when... You, you know, it is very, like very, very unfair for people to miss water. It's good for to have water two, three hours a week. But again, missing water completely for the whole week is not I, fair. I still think, uh, I've never uh, experienced, fortunately, yes. <laughs> the problem of water. Maybe. My, my tap has never run dry. <laughs> You're lucky. Yeah, I'm lucky. Yes. I would say that. But I think that in this day and age that we live in, uh, Kenyans should not be missing water even for a day. Yeah, Unless sure. for reasons, say, of drought and extreme weather conditions. Otherwise, I think that but is very basic need. But we've need. not reached there. Yeah, we've mm. not reached there. Yes. But the cartels, I think you're there, but the cartels that you're saying These cartels are making the lives of the uh, very Nairobi difficult. residents and across very, the, the yeah, country very difficult. are very difficult. Sure. So how are you going to deal with that in your ward? I'll make sure I didn't. I'll... I'll identify them one by one. Mm -hmm. You've Make not sure. identified them yet? Yes, I know them. Okay. But again, I know how to deal with them, them one out. by one. Yes. Because it's not fair. Them. Also, they take advantage and then they come and sell the water. Yes. So that's how they stand together. They're the best beneficiaries. They're, they're doing business with the people's... People's lives. Yes. Oh, my. Okay. So, uh, does one have to vie or run for a political seat for you to exercise your leadership skills? Yes. Or are there other ways that you can serve the society without necessarily running for a political seat? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Mm -hmm. You know, when you are in leadership, for example, I'm an MCA. I love that power as an MCA in the mm -hmm. county government. In terms of policies? Yes, I'll go to the minister concerned, I'll go to the governor and tell them, hey governor, this thing is a mess, please, we must rectify. But again, as a mayor leader, there, how will he listen to me? Surely, sometimes. So uh, when, when you're in a when you're in your, a political seat, it's more effective. Yeah, it is more effective. Some of these policies it, passed. Yeah, it is more effective. Into. People will listen to you, mm -hmm. and uh, things will go in the right direction. Mm -hmm. But again, when you are a leader in the community, yes, we are leaders. We are, we are influential. We can influence some things. But uh, as an elected leader, mm -hmm. it is more. 
So when did it occur to you that you really wanted to be a politician? Yes. When did, did it occur to you that you wanted to be a politician? The community, the community told me. During 2013, I was campaigning for some guys, for an MC position, for the MP, mm -hmm. for the senator governor. And I'm the trying president. to calculate your age. You're 21 or 20. How old are you? I'm 25. By then, 2013. In fact, 2012. Or 2012. Mm. So you're 20. Yes. Just there about. Okay, fine. Yes. So you, you, you. I was so influential by then. You were. Yeah, people were looking for me all, <laughs> all over around the, okay. the area. Hey, can okay. you campaign for us? As a young person, mm -hmm. and you and have local. the influence yeah. over the other young people. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's when I discovered I was campaigning with some mama bogas, and I would be, hey, please vote for this person. Hey, that person. They listened. Told, yeah, they listened, and they were. Did your me, person win? Yeah, my people won. The MC. Oh, you had people, not even just one person. The MC won. The MP won. Who's my the, the best my best mentor mm -hmm. on the Bujua Sholom the MP for Langata. Mm -hmm. Obviously the senator didn't win, okay. but the governor won. Mm -hmm. So all your people won. Yes. So you realized uh Jipigia uh, Debe. yeah, I realized Uneza Jipigia Debe. Even people are telling me, where guy, you are campaigning for this guy. Where could you campaign if you will vote for you? Yes, I mean Kasema. This guy. But I'm thinking if you're compa campaigning for those big people, they gave you money to give these people, didn't they? Sometimes, you know, like an MCA seats, these guys vying for the MCA thing, they don't mm -hmm. have money. Yeah. He'll a good will of the, he'll a good will. This guy mm -hmm. can deliver. Okay. I thought it's well for me to support for, okay. for future. So now talking about the guy delivering, has the guy who is the current, the incumbent MCA for South Sea, has he delivered? And if not, if not, how are you intending to fix some of the flaws? Yes, she's a lady. Oh, she's a lady. She's a lady. Oh, she's so now, now I'm a bit sensitive. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she's my good friend. Okay. She's my good friend. So has she we, delivered? We talk daily. Mm. She's delivered in some, but some I think no. So what are the major things you think she has uh, transformed? Uh, the roads, the accessibility of the road, they're not bad. Yeah, but in terms of bursary, in terms of bursary allocation, she... It is not so how do you tend to, to, to handle that, the basic you know, allocations? You know, South Sea seems like uh, it's a middle class uh, ward. Mm -hmm. they, they're assuming that those guys, we have day residents and night residents. We assume we have those guys around, the Mamambo guys, the Boda Boda guys, mm -hmm. who have kids in school, mm -hmm. who have people to, to, to educate. We should, give, we should incre increase the allocation of the bursaries, mm -hmm. and we should give to the intended people. You don't, you don't give the people of uh, another area, the, the bursaries of South oh, people. Oh, okay. So yes. that's what happens. It happens. Allegedly. Yes. <laughs> 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 All right. So what, what plans do you have for the vulnerable? For the vulnerable? Mm -hmm. There are a couple of uh, orphanages in, in South Sea for the orphans. Uh, yeah, we have Mamangina. Which is a uh, is, is a government uh, is a government thing, mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe rehabilitation center. Oh, most of uh, why are you saying maybe? Is it is it something that you thought about? I've been thinking of it, but uh, once given opportunity, I will implement it. So, how do you intend to implement that? We have so many. We have so many youths who are my friends, mm -hmm. who are our brothers, who are into drugs most of the time. So oh, yeah. So you're looking at a rehabilitation yes, center for area, drugs and for them drug to, abuse. Yeah. Okay. It feels bad, me as a youth, mm -hmm. to have other youths perishing because of drugs and mm -hmm. other things. Okay. So we are about done, but before we, we finish, I know, that was really quick, huh? <laughs> I'd like I for know. you to share, <laughs> to share with the viewers from a South Sea your, your agenda. And really, how is it that, should you be given the opportunity to lead that place, how are you going to transform their lives? Hey, South Sea people. Once given an opportunity, the water system will be awesome. The bursary allocation will be awesome. The sewerage system, the drainage system will be very awesome. And other things together, empowering the youths and make sure youths are not in drugs and so many things. God bless you. Okay, I'm just curious. I know, we're done, yeah? But what makes you suitable to, to run for the member of the county assembly for South Sea? My record. Mm -hmm. Go ask the people. Mm -hmm. 
for wherever I've been. So they can use that record as a blueprint yes, to yes, judge. Yes, yes. That is a, that's why you, when you go the, there, you ask the Mama Mboga, mm -hmm. even if you give him Himora, 10,000 mm. he'll tell you, no, we vote for a, a young, that young man. Okay. So my record... So you, you seem myself. pretty confident. Yes, I'm very confident, you know. Don't you think when it comes to the politics of parties and names, uh, maybe that might be a, a disadvantage to you? My brand, you know, I've had a, oh, you, you, you I've are had a, a brand. good brand. Okay. It's all about, you know, these he parties. He has a brand. Yes. Party, party politics sometimes work, sometimes they don't work. But again, when you have the good network with the people, excellent, you'll be there. All right. Yes. Confidence is good, and he has it. Other people of South Sea, you are... You have the power, Josephat. It was wonderful to have you on the show. Thank you. Wonderful. And sorry that I rushed you here. No worries. <laughs> I had you had to. He yes. was campaigning, and I got him in the middle of his campaign to come here for this interview. And I'm glad that you honored uh, the call. Thank you. And until next time, I am Ria Mugutu. This is the point. Thank you for watching.